Hello everyone, Praveen here. In today's vlog, we will cover half transforms, a very interesting technique called half transforms. Uh, we will, so half transforms is a technique to identify simple shapes like lines or circles in an image. Now that debates, that requests the question, what's a simple shape? So a simple shape is one that can be represented by a simple equations with very few parameters. For example, a line. All you need to represent a line is a slope and an intercept. Just need two parameters. Similarly, a circle can be represented by three parameters. So the way half transforms works is that you first identify the edges using some of the edge techniques we have seen before in some of our earlier videos, and then identifying the appropriate parameters, say, of a line. So today, as a demonstration, we will see how to use half transforms to detect lanes in a road. So let's start with it. So step one is, as usual, importing the libraries and setting up our output correctly. The next step, we are going to read in an image of a road. So uh, this is an image we have created previously in one of our previous uh, videos where we've uh, filtered out all the cars from a uh, from a road and we're going to use that image to identify lanes to so you can see there are two sets of rows on both sides and we will separate both of them at the end of it so the first step what we're going to do is we're going to do some pre-processing of the image uh, our pre-processing steps are two we are going to room to convert it to a grayscale image and the step past, now step number two is we are going to do some sort of blurring to reduce uh, noise and remove the smaller features uh, in the image. And this is our grayed and blurred image. Uh, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna run a canny edge detector. So canny edge detector detects edges. So as you can see, we have run canny edge and uh, these are the edges detected uh, from our pre-processed image. Uh, for the folks who are worried about what is canny edge, we have, you can just look up at some of the previous videos where we have covered what is the canny edge detector. Now, now we will apply half lines, the algorithm of half lines. Uh, so this is the half transform specifically to identify lines. Now half lines, now half lines uses the concept of polar coordinates. So let us just refresh our what are polar coordinates. So normally we represent a line with, with the equation y is equal to mx plus c. That's something we all of us are aware of. You can also sh sh represent the same line in polar coordinates. Uh, so in polar coordinates, instead of using the slope and an intercept, we'll use an angle and a distance parameter. Okay, so if this is a line which we want to model, uh, this would be a line that is perpendicular from the center. So this perpendicular distance is, what is going to be rho and the theta is going to be the angle of this perpendicular line to this, uh, the perpendicular to the line. Okay, and in that case, the, the polar coordinate uh, the line can be shown as polar coordinates where it's rho is equal to x cos theta plus y sine theta. That's the uh, polar coordinate representation of a line. Now, if you do some basic mathematics of just dividing this entire equation by sine theta and moving, uh, moving uh, x to the other side, you'll see that you can write uh, the same equation as y is equal to minus cos theta by sine theta into x plus r sine theta. So over here we can see that it's it's like a very it's similar to our very simple uh, simple line equation where m is now equal to the inverse of sine theta by by cos theta by sine theta, which is basically the uh, inverse of tan theta, and r divided and our intercept is r divided by sine theta. So this the polar coordinate equation is exactly this is, is very similar to y is equal to mx plus c. So we what we do is uh, in half coordinates, in half transformation, all the lines are modeled in their polar coordinates. So half 
transforms this 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 particular algorithm called half lines is a brute force algorithm so what it does is that it will create several lines with all possible thetas and rows okay so what we've done is uh, so this if you will take a look at the the function that we use it's called half line p so it's got a parameter called edges which is the edges that we have detected from our canny edge detector row is and the resolution of rows so and theta is the resolution of of resolution of the uh, of of the angle so what we do is we create an entire set of rows and thetas where this is the resolution of it and then multiple lines are created so for example if this is our edge detector so in an image typically this is the origin point so what's done is that i'm going to just draw some lines so so what's done is that the, that half lines basically creates multiple lines and checks whether this line lies on when it, if the edges lie on any of these lines so not one line it will make multiples of these lines so it essentially makes lines with all possibles of rows and thetas that would cover this entire image the resolution of these rows and uh, thetas is defined by the parameters that we have put in here and i'm going to going to stop annotating okay and so what is again as i'm going to just repeat it one more time what half lines does is half lines creates all the sets of rows and thetas or creates lots of possible lines and checks if if an edge lies on it or is close to it and if it's close to it it keeps a count of how many edge points or how many edge pixels are lying on the same line and if that particular uh, value is if the number of lines is greater than a particular uh, length like for example the threshold we said the threshold is 5 so if there are more than 5 uh, pixels that lie on the same length it will be called a real line and that those set of line proposals are then saved in this array so in the next part what we do is that we iterate through these lines in a for loop and extract the end points of this line and we draw it what i've done here is i've added an extra filter to remove the proposals from the top side which uh, which are created because of these background and the scenery as you can see so i've essentially eliminated the Uh, I've eliminated the noise and some of the noise that comes due to the background uh, in this image. So once we've do, done this, you can see you can see the uh, the roads have kind of been marked out very clearly for us to see. So this is a way we can use half lines to solve a real life problem like identifying lanes and roads in an image. Thank you.